This is another little project I've been working on. I, I actually thought I'd recorded this, but possibly not. But this is a little, where's my pinky gone? ESP32 hyphen cam. Now an ESP, which you may remember from other videos, is basically a Wi-Fi Bluetooth unit. Underneath this particular board is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth can, I guess we'd call it, because it's metal encapsulated. And thanks to a wonderful dollop of Bluetech, I got this is the 2 megapixel, let me use my pinky. There you go, look. This is a 2 megapixel camera, which is obviously way smaller than my pinky nail. It also basically has all the features and functions of an Arduino, but the actual um, Wi-Fi Bluetooth runs a derivative of Linux and has its own uh, little programming code, which I just frankly ignored. So now I have to connect this thing up to a my handy dandy favorite um, uh, USB tiny ISP board. This little guy here. Let me get my hands out of the way and see if I can get shed a little more light on it. Uh, let's try this angle. There it is. It's basically taking a USB cable from my PC and converting it into an essentially serial data. And I think I've showed you this video before, but you can see 5 volt ground transmit receive DTR and 3.3 volts. Now, all the stuff I looked at on YouTube said that this device was 3.3 volts. And of course, you know, be safe. Don't put 5 volts into it in case it fries. And I could not get the damn thing to work. So eventually, I actually, silly me, I went and actually looked at the manufacturer's website, which is www.diymore.cc. And their spec sheet states quite clearly that this device is actually 5 volts, not 3.3. So all these YouTube videos you see about this CAM32- um, I'm sorry, ESP32-CAM, ignore the fact that they say 3.3. If you're worried, start off at 3.3, and if it doesn't work, switch it to 5 which I did, and it worked fine. Only four wires required. Uh, unfortunately, there, there is no clear to send, request to send, or anything on this ESP32 hyphen cam. So the programming of it, it sits there and waits for a reset because it never gets it. So you just ignore that. The only thing it requires is 5 volts going to the 5 volt pin. Ground going to the ground. Transmit going to receive. Receive going to transmit as per normal. You know, you can't transmit something to a transmitter. Because, you know, that's like two morons talking and nobody's listening. Um, so obviously you transmit to a receiver and you receive to a transmitter from a transmitter. Now the only thing you have to do with this device is, I think it's um, pin 100, is it? I don't know. Can you see? 
Well, it certainly says 100. It's right next to ground VCC. To program this chip, you've got to stick that pin 100 to ground. And then if you use the serial monitor, it'll tell you, I'm in programming mode waiting for a new program. Um, after you hit the reset button, which is wonderfully mounted underneath the board in this corner. Rocket scientists at work. Put the reset button under here so you can't get to it. Yippee. Uh, Alright, sarcasm over. Um, once you've hit that little reset button, it, if you look at the serial monitor, it tells you that it's waiting for an uploaded program. And then you use your Arduino um, IDE. Whoops, sorry. Hands in front of the lens. And let me click on where the heck's my mouse gone. There it is. And I'm using this one. This was a sketch that was uh, cam web server hyphen mine because I've changed it. But it's just one of the examples. And I've added a, a few more bug debug statements into it just to let me know if the. Um... Why are you scrolling down? Oh, okay. Just to let me know what state it's in. I said like Wi-Fi connected, ready to connect, and so on. Camera okay. There was a bunch of um, stuff that wasn't actually being told during its initialization, which is on the serial port, which you use the serial monitor for. Um, if you don't know what the hell, what I'm talking about, excuse me, hiccups just at dinner. Um, you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, but no matter. And then you see hard reset via RTS pin. Well, as I said earlier, this has a DTR and an RTS, but the actual um, ESP32 hyphen cam does not. So you just have to ignore that and move on. Because once you see it successfully downloaded, everything is hunky-dory, as they say. So, now it's all loaded. At the end of this, let me open up the... Um, uh, serial monitor. And let me just scroll back a bit, because it's obviously updating all the time. You will see at the end of the complete, let me click that. Oh, there we go. At the end of its compilation and execution, it says camera, no, hang on. It says Wi-Fi connected, starting webcam at port 80, starting stream server at port 81. Camera ready, use this particular IP address to connect to it. So now the Wi-Fi of this little device, which we actually declared um, up here, I don't care if you know what it is, nobody's going to be around here, so what the hell. Um, so this little Wi-Fi unit is now connected to my Wi-Fi in the office. And if I go up here and go to Chrome and start stream, I hope it's going to work. Oh, there we go. I've had a lot of problems with this thing just timing out on me. But as you can see, there is this module transmitting images from this itty bitty camera to my internal network 
uh, for whatever reason it seems to be 90 degrees off so you know it should be like this <laughs> but it's not now if I put my hand in front of the lens maybe yeah, it still says it's broadcasting but I don't see actually updating let me oh it says I've lost connection well that's weird what does that mean always on always off anyhow for whatever reason oh it's just gone blank let me just reboot this thing so the application is actually currently in here and running and as I said before some genius put the reset button underneath okay I heard it click now let's see if it starts the stream again one thing I have noticed about these devices that the the streaming speed is extremely slow there you go look you can see my hand there see my camera let me change the screen size even though it says at the top here it's 640 by 480 that is obviously not so let's click it to 64480 maybe it'll reset itself but you can actually see I'm here look if I wave hello 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 and I guess eventually this thing will resynchronize and as you can see the little LED on the um, ISP tiny USB no the other way around USB tiny ISP is blinking like crazy because that's transmitting data um, through to the streaming address of the um, device which is 192.168.1.90 colon 80 so it was a pain in the tush to get this damn thing to work I tried innumerous um, ISP devices and I don't know whether it was my computer or the port I was using or whatever no end of errors problems eventually I resorted to this tiny ISP and it's been great <laughs> You take the cheapest product you've got, which cost me under a pound, and it works fine. Go figure. Okay, and as you can see, here's my hand looking at the screen. But of course it's 90 degrees off. I wonder why it hasn't actually changed to a 640. Maybe I need to stop the stream change to 640 which is already set for of course and start the stream now it comes back as the tiny screen again um, it does have all these wonderful options which is quite amazing coming out of this little chip as you can change it to a color bar let me flip that on for a minute and there you get just like old television shows at the end when the broadcasting stopped except BBC of course they had that little funny thing and let me actually switch this to three so now it's actually switched to the size it's meant to be 
Now let me see if I can change it to 640. Ah, there we go. So there it is. That's 640 by 480. Unfortunately, I don't know, and I haven't looked into the code of the camera yet. But, I mean, this camera, you, you would think, would be in the correct plane, wouldn't you? You know, the way it's pointing, you'd think um, everything would be horizontal from the bottom of the camera, vertical from the sides of the camera. But apparently it's not. So I'm going to have a look in the code and see if there is some simple way, which I doubt, but maybe there is a simple way to flip the display through 90. So that I don't have this silly camera looking at my roof. Look, that's what it's looking at. The light bulb on the ceiling. As you can see here. The light bulb on the ceiling. It's also looking at the hook here. Where is it? That's my light. And my scope leads. And that's what this thing is looking at. But nevertheless, this is a really, really cool little device. And I forget, I think it was about three quid. Maybe a little more. Um, I did have to modify the code a bit to get it to actually work properly. I don't know if I'm actually going to put this on my blog. Because there's just so many YouTube stuff out there about this particular device but if somebody asks me help of course I'll help and the key is that little flashing LED that's actually taking the images from the uh, ESP32 cam I'm broadcasting the data not to the internet but to my serial monitor and the serial monitor let me see if I can open that you can see my serial monitor is receiving hundreds of frames but it's actually running around 10 or 11 frames per second which is pretty damn good of course if I turn the uh, serial monitor off this little LED will stop flashing and stop sending data and the video streaming might be even quicker let's try that okay video monitor where's my cursor gone there it is turn it off Oh, now that's confusing me. I thought that LED was just a reflection of the information being sent to the serial monitor. Well, I guess I can't always be right. <laughs> Maybe never, who knows. But the response does actually seem to be a lot quicker. Look, if I put my, oh, where's the camera gone? Here it is. If I put my hand in front of the camera and go, right, uh, let's back off a bit. I can't, I can't figure this out. There's way too much geometry going on here. Um, where's my hand? There's my hand. And let's back off a bit and go up a bit and keep going up a bit and down. Where, where's my hand gone? There we go. Now you see what I'm doing. Hi guys. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Talk to you later. Bye.